Let's move to the second day of creation. And God said, Let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters, and let it divide the waters from the waters. This means there are waters above and waters below. And he divided the waters beneath the firmament from the waters above the firmament. And it was so. What are the waters above the firmament? That is, not that the waters lie on it, but they are above the firmament, in space. And these waters, say the sages in the Midrash, were like glaciers for 2,000 years, meaning frozen, ice, suspended by the command of God, that they would remain there above. The sages continue and say that the upper waters surpass the lower waters, meaning the amount of water in space is greater than the water on earth. Two-thirds of the world is water, huge amounts in oceans, but the waters in space are much more. In the Cambridge Astronomy Handbook, it is told that on the morning of June 30th, 1908, just over a hundred years ago, a tremendous explosion occurred in central Siberia. Eyewitnesses reported seeing a giant meteor in the sky and seconds before it exploded, people standing 60 kilometers away from the meteor impact were knocked to the ground by the tremendous explosion. The prevailing opinion is that the meteor that collided with Earth was a block of ice weighing 30,000 tons. As a result, energy was released equal to the power of a 12 megaton nuclear bomb. Had this block of ice fallen on London or New York instead of in an uninhabited area in Siberia, the results would have been catastrophic. A deep and thorough study showed that the ice block that landed in Siberia, weighing 30,000 tons, was a fragment of a comet nucleus from the Oort cloud at the edge of the solar system. In this region alone, there are about one trillion comets. If all of these comets were to melt, they would fill the ocean basins with more than a thousand Earths. A small comet contains about one billion tons of ice, and a large comet can contain up to 1,000 times this amount. This discovery was made in the last 100 years. The scientists at NASA are amazed by this. And here we have a midrash from 2,000 years ago that says there are waters above, because it is written, waters above the firmament, and the upper waters are like glaciers, frozen, suspended by God's command, and the upper waters surpass the lower waters. Now these discoveries are being made, and we ask the sages of Israel, do you have this knowledge? And they reply, we received it in the Torah. This is truly astonishing.